Got you. So on your, so you don't try to, or do you try to segregate? It's like on an absentee owner, um, you got two different kinds of people that own that house. You got people that are, you got people that are perfect, what we call professional landlords, right? They have multiple properties, but then you got people that just like, 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 you know, I live here, we live here in, in a, next to a military town, Havelock, North Carolina, also Cherry Point Naval Air Base. And so a lot of the military will buy a house, then they move and they say, well, we'll keep the house from in and out. So that's what I call non-professional landlords that just have like one property. Uh, do you try to segregate and talk to those people differently or an absentee owner is an absentee owner? Yeah, so that's a great question. And we, we do think about that whenever we are, um, whenever we're talking to somebody, however, on the list that we're stacking, um, there's nothing in there that says that they're professional or, or not, unless they're owned by um, some sort of like LLC or trust, like, you know, something like that. That typically tells us that that's a professional landlord versus an accidental landlord. They got orders and now they moved and, you know, they're, they're just happened to be a landlord because they couldn't sell the house in time or whatever. Right. So we don't segregate that, but that is something that we're aware of whenever they call in.